It's still unclear if Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers will be at the game on Sunday. He needs two negative COVID test results before he can be cleared to play. This Sunday's game against the Seahawks is at 325. Aaron Rodgers has been quite vocal about why he did not get the vaccine, but the three-time MVP also made some COVID claims that PolitiFact is putting through the truthometer. Here's Charles Benson. What athletes say or do is unfamiliar turf for PolitiFact. But after contracting coronavirus and missing a game because of the NFL's COVID-19 policy, Aaron Rodgers tried to explain in a radio interview why he wasn't vaccinated. In the midst of his rant, he claimed this idea that it's a pandemic of the unvaccinated, it's just a total lie. Now that is just totally wrong. PolitiFact says the virus did start spreading among unvaccinated people before vaccines existed. Since then, the science and the statistics tell a very different story. Even now, today, unvaccinated people who have been exposed to COVID-19, who have some natural immunity built up, are five times more likely to get it again than a fully vaccinated person is. Unvaccinated people are 10 times more likely to be hospitalized or die than those who have had the vaccine and are fully vaccinated. But no vaccine is perfect and vaccinated people can still catch COVID-19. But despite breakthrough cases, it is happening at a much lower rate for vaccinated people. And if they do get it, they are less likely to be hospitalized or die from the virus. You have to look at the percentages and not just the raw numbers and things you may be seeing. So in this case, science gets the sack. So after further review, PolitiFact rated Rogers' claim mostly false.